Hey there, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our August 28th Smalls portion of the sale. The auction begins at 1 o'clock as usual. And we start outside with uh, lots of household and box lots and table lots. And as you can see, it's all staged here and then over there on that cart. And then there's another whole bunch of, ta uh, of um, boxes under the table that all goes outside. Sometimes um, sometimes there's some really neat stuff under the uh, 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 box lots outside. All right, but then inside, we come, once we finish outside, we come inside, and we sell what's on the table. As you can see, there's some nice cut glass, looks like some Hadley, Depression. I usually do this walk up and down the aisles every sale. You can see what's here. I don't expect you to uh, be able to preview the entire auction from the video, but it gives you a scale of what's here. Um, we don't sell these items individually, we sell them in big groups unless somebody requests an item by itself and we start it off at five bucks uh, and go up from there. So we don't waste a lot of time selling the items, but it does take a while to get thrown because there's just a lot here. Uh, walking up and down the tables with the auctioneer. Here's a big Coca-Cola collection. Some neat stuff right here. You have uh, ornaments and old bottles and thermometers and trays and... Uh, some cool Coca-Cola stuff. We did a few estates this week. One in Rittenhouse Square, Philadelphia. Another one in Malvern, PA. And uh, a third one we just finished in Westchester that we probably did a few weeks ago. But the modern sale got in the way. There's a nice Lionel train. Looks like a milk, milk car with the box right there. Pretty nice one. Up and down the aisles you have some cut glass, high Z. There's a blue and white teapot, some more teacups, a lot of those, lots of nice uh, art glass, and I already breezed over, but there was a lot of um, pottery, like art, craft pottery, some nice old Polaroids right there, this one might be a good one, the, re the reporter, and you have some, look, at there's a Dale Earnhardt signed, Dale Earnhardt signed uh, Winston Cup picture right there. Some nice items on the table. Look at this old Amplivox turntable. A neat one. We have boxes full of prints. More Coca-Cola. All right, back to the tables on the other side. Oh, look at the 1987, 1988 tops on the cards, the baseball cards. Up and down the aisles. Our next auction after this one is September 11, Tuesday, September 11th. Uh, following that, on the 25th, we're having our decorative art sale. If you have any items for that sale, let us know. We'll catalog it, put it up. And then after that, October 9th, will be our modern design auction. So, lots of stuff happening this fall. We have some nice stuff on the tables here. You have pool cues and collector bottles and glassware, Christmas decorations and stemware and lots of nice vases. Look at that nice one right there with the uh, raised flowers. Just notice a big chip on it though. Nice. More workout bars. There's a huge set of uh, dumbbells in the other uh, furniture auction. Check that. Check out that other video. Uh, here's a whole table full of you know, glassware, you name it, crystal, depression. There's some Waterford on the table right here, all this stuff right here is Waterford. Um, some nice crystal animals. Um, some more crystal animals that are out front. Look at all these miniatures and egg cups and teacups and dinosaurs and the sports jerseys. Nice clock there, brassware. As usual, we sell up and down the tables till we get to the wall here, and then we sell the table in front of the wall, and then we do the art wall. I'm going to walk up and down the art wall real quick, and I'm going to do the table slightly out of order. All right, as you can see, nice art on the wall. Nice art on the floor there. More art on the tables, oil paintings, prints cameras, tiki stuff, electronics, old toys, mixers. Coming up to this part right here, one of my favorite uh, lots in the auction is 
this grouping of 1960s CBS promo. Uh, and I told people on Facebook, you should friend us up on Facebook, by the way, uh, on the Facebook page, I said I would go through all the artists or all the, all the, um, the names. So let me just do that real quick. So you have, that one is uh, The Red Skelton Show with Nipsey Russell and Red Skelton. This one is um, Jillian Burrell, Jillian and Jillian, and Ray Fulmer from Hazel. That one is Hazel also. Here, this one is The Smothers Brothers. Here's another one that is The Smothers Brothers. Ah, The Beverly Hillbillies from 1968. And here's another that is uh, Petticoat Junction. And here's one that is The Smothers Brothers. Dick Van Dyke and Marilee Tyler Moore. Then you have another Dick Van Dyke one. Another Dick Van Dyke coming right here. Charles Adam and Maury Amsterdam and Rosemary and the Dick Van Dyke Show. Hal Holbrook. Then you have Jason Robards in the Bell of 14th Street. And this one is a cool one. Herb Albert in the Tijuana Brass. Down here, Wild Wild West. And Billy D. Wolf, Good Morning World. This one is Joan Fontaine, the Model of the Year pageant. Now we have Sir John Gubo, and that's Ivanov. Simran Strip, Model of the Year pageant again. Here's Herman's Hermits, James Mason. These are all cool. We're going to be selling them individually one at a time. And then we'll sell a big group if there's any left over. We can't get five bucks each for them. That one is uh, looks like a debate or something. Not even sure who's in it. 7766. That was the day after I was born. Incredible. wonder who's in it. There we go. Now you know how old I am. And that one is Gene Hackman. Alright, so you see that whole lot right there. That'll be sold later in the day near the art wall. All right, back to the tables. Miscellaneous, auction catalogs, robots coming around. I'm going to go behind the barrier real quick. Now we have, this is a neat lot we picked up in Delaware, North Wilmington. Um, old house. You have everything from old ephemera to uh, silver plate to Richard Janori. There's a whole bunch of that place settings right there. It's probably a setting of eight or so. Silver plate. And there's a whole bunch of toys. Some nice old antique stuff. Some modern design. Oh, here's a whole thing full of jewelry. I'm sure we didn't probably look at this jewelry yet. Looks like there might be some silver or gold in there. Let's go check that out. Records. Toys. Old Singer sewing machine. Miniature one. All right, back over here. Here's some more hockey equipment. If you need the replacement blades for your sticks right there, there's probably a hundred of them. And there's a, they, they retail for 20 bucks each. That's about $2,000. Here we go. Look at all the um, equipment. You have the, basically the pants that you wear. And there's a goalie mask. All right, moving on down. This is, a, this is from our clean out load right here. Um, so who knows what he comes up with. And take a look at this great stuff here. Big collection of Barbies. Let me just do a quick overview shot of it, but now I'm going to shoot right through it. You got Happy Holidays. You got another Happy Holidays. I think that's a good one. I don't know. Might be. Special edition. They don't put the ear, ear easy to find. That's 93. We have other Happy Holidays Barbie. You know which one. The Snow Princess Barbie in the back. Another Happy Holiday. Another Happy Holiday Barbie. These conditional, these boxes are very nice. They're dusty, but nice. This one might be the good one. Uh, what year is this? 1990 on that one. 1990, is that the good year? Happy Holidays, 1990? There's another Happy Holiday Special Edition Barbie. And then you have all these down the row right here. Halloween hip, everything. You have the Wizard of Oz stuff. Comics, people always calling about comics. More toys, contemporary stuff, Rodriguez. Oh, by the way, all this stuff under the table will be outside. Will be outside under the uh, under the canopy. Spread out on tables, sold in box lots, you name it. Back to there's a reloader system. It looks like more toys. Oh, while I'm here, let me show this real quick. 
This was really nice under the table. It's a nice compound bow made by Browning. Pretty nice one. There's another bow right there. Indian Spirit. Some jerseys. All right, back to our regularly scheduled table. Some more old action figures right there. There she is, leading the damsel in distress, being saved. Hot Wheels. More toys. Here's another more traditional glassware, china lot. Jumping over to this table right here before we get to the back showcases. Doll, I mean, dolls, purses. Big lot of them. Probably be moved outside day of the sale. In the back, we have some more of those um, crystal animals. Sterling salad set. Let me stay back here and we'll do the jewelry real quick from the back. Some nice lots of jewelry. Look at this lot. You have all the uh, like malachite and uh, rhinestone stuff. Real nice lot. I'm just going to do a look at the figural silver plate back here. Very nice. Then you have trays and trays and trays. I took pictures of the tops of these trays so you can kind of get the hang of it. You know what's there. Walking up and down the trays. We usually sell these by the big tray lot unless somebody wants to uh, pull an item off, start it at a, a reasonable bid, and we'll go up from there. Otherwise, big tray lots. Sometimes tray lots bring five bucks, sometimes they bring 50, sometimes they bring 250. There's an, uh, I think that's a reproduction or, or I don't know, it might be an old cult down there. More rhinestones and all. And then we have this wall right here, a bunch of, bunch of books, including the uh, Encyclopedia of Judaica. All right, more China. Thanks for watching. Remember, we start outside at two, at one, furniture at two, and everything sells to the highest bidder. So get down to the auction on Tuesday, 28th. Friend us up on Facebook. You can get the link from that from our website, or also follow us on Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching. This has been Ken Jackson for Uniques and Antiques, and we'll see you at the auction.